Hi everyone. Hi everybody. Uh, we thought we'll catch up with you and tell you what we've been up to. Um, right before I went to Poland with Thomas, Chris's new contract kicked in. And we were a bit worried what's going to happen with those contracts. We weren't sure like what option to pick and if he should sign it. <laughs> and then... Uh... Yeah, it turns out there was nothing really to worry about because I got promoted. <laughs> um, it's something, it was mentioned to me something quite a while ago. And um, I was asked if I would be interested in the job. Um, but... We didn't hear anything about it for a no, while, did no, we? For months. Didn't think it was going to happen. And then the next thing I had to go and do an assessment. And then I, I did the assessment and I was successful and I got the promotion. So I've gone from just being a regular warehouse operative to being a warehouse team leader, which is quite nice. I'm and very I get proud. a fancy red t shirt, don't I, yeah. instead of a blue one. <laughs> and then literally on the week that we're supposed to be going to Poland, uh, Chris was supposed to take us to the airport. And then turns out that. The steering went in our car. Well, it just gave up, didn't it? We, yeah. were, going, we were going around a roundabout near where we live and it yeah, just gave just up. It gave wouldn't up. turn. So, so uh, we were forced to look for the new car. We were hoping we can get it before we go to Poland so it can take us. But unfortunately, uh, it won't take us today. Yeah, it took a while to sort out, didn't it? But uh, yes, the car turns out to be pretty good. We've picked it, honestly, over the picture. Yeah. We did our yeah. the best picks over that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it wasn't to do with like the make or model or the spec of the car. No, it was just the we way just it looked like had a picture, had a so. look and then we thought well, we can see us in this car and mm. that's what we've picked and I think it's a good pick. Yeah, I, definitely I know we haven't shown good. too much of the car, but uh, it's actually a really really nice car inside and nothing too fancy, but a bit fancier than our eighteen year old because. <laughs> so bit, it's yeah. actually quite nice. Um, we did well in Poland. Thomas did super well. I was worried he would struggle and miss Chris a lot. He actually, once we were there, he was actually absolutely fine. We saw my dad, we saw my dad's mom, we saw my mom. We've been playing with everyone. We had lots of fun times and it, he really, really enjoyed it. Unfortunately, after we came back, he kind of acted out and on the day, on the night when we came, because we landed, I think, around eight o'clock in the evening, we came home, put him to bed and he burst out crying, saying he missed daddy. Yeah. And from there, it just went. He's been acting up like a lot and yeah, it took quite sob. some time to kind of let it all the emotions out and go back to, to normal. Uh, we were supposed to get a sofa when we were in Poland because our sofa broke. Yeah. <laughs> we were very unlucky before that. We were really we had a lot of to worry. We did. Well I was You know, it was worried sort of... about your work. Yeah. About the car, about the sofa broken and it's just kinda of been a lot at the same time. But uh the sofa didn't came when I was in Poland because the warehouse got flooded and they couldn't send it. And it came when we came back. Yeah. Which is actually good call. Yeah, which is actually why we're sat the opposite way around to where we're normally yeah, sitting. It feels weird. Sofa. Big corner thing, so. There still isn't enough space because you get Thomas on there, you get the cats on there. Yeah. And... <laughs> yeah, we, we still fight for the space. We well, do. Let us show you how Thomas reacted when we show him the sofa. And go! Yeah? Whoa. <laughs> it's so comfy. It is comfy, isn't it? Yeah. Wait, wait. It actually feels nice. It feels nice. But wait, we've got one more pillow. We've got one more pillow. Silly mummy. I'm going to put it here next to that one. I think they go on the one on this side and one on the other side. But it's okay. We'll sort them in a minute. Put them anywhere for now. <laughs> Is it comfy? Yeah. <laughs> so it's been pretty busy, hasn't it? And it, it doesn't seem to be slowing down, to be totally honest. We're into the end of October now. Yeah. I've been doing Saturdays. Um, they're doing a scheme at work where if you do a certain amount of Saturdays, you get quite a decent payout in December. 
So um, we're switching Saturdays. We're kind of having to alternate because Ula works Saturdays, and obviously I can't do every Saturday. Otherwise, she'll get the sack. So, um, you're doing the. I think the second. Every other, and, I think you're doing yeah, the second and the Saturday. fourth Saturday of the month, and I'm doing the first and the third. So. So yeah, it's just we we don't really have much time for anything else, do we? No, no, it does pretty, up a pretty, pretty crazy. Massive chunk of it. And with homeschooling Thomas, well, not homeschooling, home educating Thomas, uh. It kind of the day kind of pretty goes, and and it's just he's doing so well. I can see what he's struggling with. I can help him. I can explain stuff to him. It's just actually nice to be able to to see him progress. I actually listened to him reading a book today, and I could understand it now clearly because he always reads the book like too quickly or very slowly when he reads the words one at a time. Today he actually read a book. Like you're supposed to read a book, and it was just really nice to see, and really nice to see him progress that much. Yeah. So I think we're doing we're doing okay. Yeah, you are you're doing really well. Uh, we've got some Halloween decorations up on the windows. Um, I will show you them tomorrow. Uh, we also uh, not gonna be going trick or treating because we are in a tier three lockdown. Well. Quarantine lockdown. What's it called? I think it's just called a tier three lockdown, isn't so it? So we are basically not allowed anything. <laughs> So there'll be no trick-or-treating this year. Uh, so instead, I found a place near Preston when it's done in like a Halloween village. So we're going to be going there Saturday night to just... I don't even know what we're going to be doing there. No, it's quite, quite exciting. Yeah, I've never been to anything like this, but I'm quite excited to see what we're going to do. I really do. don't know. I think it's, it's just like a... It's set on a website. It's a self-led quest. So I think we're gonna have to keep doing like little bits and on the way, maybe like a scavenger hunt or something. Yeah, maybe. It sounds, sounds exciting. Um, I'm guessing they'll be giving out sweeties, or maybe at the end. I don't know. I would think so. So if it's, if it's something to do with trick or treating, you would you would expect there'll be yeah. some sort of treat. So we'll everything. see um what it's gonna be, and hopefully take you with us. Um, mm. and then next week, uh, it's gonna be pretty chilled out because we're having a break from home educating. We're not going to be doing anything. Uh, it's just half-term pretty, holidays, isn't it? Yeah, so pretty much getting ready uh, for the proper Halloween, which I just realised I probably won't be able to even spend home because I'll be at work till six. Mm. Well, to be honest, it's, it's probably the best year to be at work till six because there's no, going to be nothing happening. Yeah, no trick-or-treating. I, I, I will be turning the lights off because I don't answer the door to kids trick-or-treating. <laughs> Not because I'm miserable, just because I don't like people knocking on my door. Plus, whatever sweets are left, stay for me and Thomas, so... No, we don't have any sweets. But we're going to do, like, little packs uh, for uh, friends' kids. And then we're going to drop off at some point next week uh, for the Halloween. And I think pretty much that's it. So we'll see how it, how it all yeah. goes. I'm actually very excited for the 1st of December. Because Thomas's advent calendar is awesome. What's his calendar? The one that you got. Oh, the football one. Yeah. Yeah, Thomas got, uh, we put Thomas a football calendar. It's a uh, match attacks, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a, an advent calendar, but I think instead of chocolate behind each door, there's a card. Yeah. A trading card. Um, he's, he's getting right into his football recently, he, more than sort of ever before. So he's we have like a starter pack with, with the album for the cards and a pack and probably we'll pick up a couple more packs and then he'll be able to open those, those cards, the, the advent calendar for the cards and get a few more. Mm. So it'll be, it'll be good. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, the, I think they're about a pound a pack, I think, you yeah, know, they are, so it shouldn't be too, well, so too bad. They're quite popular. So, yeah, pretty much that's what it's been happening. Uh, it's kind of mentally yeah. draining and crazy. Not, nothing really going on, but at the same time, Extremely not enough easy. time in the day. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 yeah. Hard to, it's hard to put into words, really. And I can't see it being any quieter. We are, at work, we are really, really busy. We, I, I've been speaking to people who've been there for 15 years and they said they've never known it anywhere near this busy. Which so, is a good thing, but it, at the same time, it's tiring. Surprisingly, apparently, when we are, when I work, I clean holiday homes. Apparently, they are extremely busy too, and they've never been that busy this time of the year. So, who knows? I might work even all the way to Christmas. Well, I think we all we all are work. I think people aren't going abroad. This is but it. More people, this are, day. more people are going on yeah. holiday in the UK. So, 
Which is good. It gives, gives us more money coming in. Yeah. There's a PS5 coming at Christmas, <laughs> and so somebody's going to have to buy me. Yeah, Santa. He's not getting the credit. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, we hope you're all okay. I don't know how you're doing with, with lockdown. I don't know what tier you are in. Um, I don't, I don't know understand how... them anyway. No, no. If you're watching from abroad, I don't know how it is in your country, but we are hoping you are keeping safe and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.